Happy Friday, sports fans, and welcome in. I'm Dylan Malfotti. High school basketball's regular season is coming to a close. There's a couple games going on tonight here in the Valley. Let's go ahead on over to Central High School to see what happened in their game. It was senior night at Central High School as the Warriors took on the Durango Demons tonight. Demons get the tip and get on the scoreboard first. Number 32, Mason Rowland, dishes it to Hallie Peterson at the top of the key, and she'll do the rest herself. Two nothing Demons. Warriors, they'll answer back, though. Christina Mazanares trying to get it from deep, but it doesn't go. Leanna Bryant there to tip it out to her teammate Bailey Ritterbush, though, and she'll put it away. A few possessions later, Mazanares again with the rock. She dishes to Bryant, and she'll hit from deep. Warriors take the lead 11-9 midway through the second. Warriors ball. Alex Wagner passing inside to Emma Diaz, who gets it on the mid-range jumper. 13-9 Warriors. And the Warriors, they keep doing Warrior things right here. Bryn Wagner doing it all. She drives and finishes through contact. Some mistakes here by the Warriors late, though. In the second or in the first half, a turnover means a fast break the other way for the Demons. 23, Riley Campbell takes it in, lays it up, but not in. Rebound by Peterson, and she'll draw the foul. Unfortunately, they couldn't keep up that first half momentum. The girls fall to the Durango Demons, 51-32. The Central boys do claim victory in their game, though, against the Demons. They get the dub tonight, 49-32, to better their record to 15-5 on the season. And over at Grand Junction High School, the Tigers hosting the Wildcats tonight. The Wildcat girls get a big win over the Tigers. Large margin victory, 69-13. And they'll get the sweep in the boys' game. Wildcats get a win by a final score of 53-31. Now it's a doubleheader kind of day at Bus Bergman Sports Complex. Our Derwin Worrell was there to soak in the sunshine and catch the action. A kid with a glove at the ballpark, man, that's what it's all about, folks. Bottom of the first, runners on the corners for Stevenson Reynolds and a delayed steal. That's going to allow Paul Schoenfeld to sneak on home and score. Mavericks take a one to nothing lead. Reynolds, he would eventually walk, and that would bring up Max Valdez, and he strokes it. That RBI single will bring in another run, two to nothing, CMU. And the hits kept coming, folks, for the Mavericks. Julian Boyd, who had a couple of RBIs yesterday, today would add to his totals. He would make it three to nothing, CMU. Same inning, it's now four to nothing, CMU. Two on for Ethan Ezor. And he finds the alley. That would bring in two more runs, six to nothing in the bottom of the first for CMU. And this game would turn into a wild one. The Mavericks, they take game one, 20 to 15. In the second game, much more of a defensive match for the Mavs as they sweep the doubleheader 13 to 3 against Azusa Pacific. Catcher Declan Wisner has four ribbies in this game, and they'll play one more against Azusa Pacific tomorrow at 11 to round out the weekend. Now, while the Mavs were on the field today at Bus Bergman Sports Complex, they're also in the pool at El Pomar Auditorium. CMU put up a good fight this morning at prelim, seeing 27 divers or swimmers and three divers qualify for tonight's finals. They jumped back in the pool tonight, and CMU gets big wins for both the men and the women. The men get a big win over the rest of the RMAC with a total score of 967 team points, more than 400 more than the number two team, Colorado School of Mines. The women also crushed the competition tonight, scoring 890. Big weekend for the Mavs. They get wins across the board in pretty much all of their sports. That's all the time that we have for sports for right now. We'll see you next time.